Economics delivers uh, understanding of behaviours which can't be got just by simple data analysis. We have to interpret data through the lens of theory. I'm here with Andrew Cheshire, who's the incoming president of the Royal Economic Society and a professor of economics and economic measurement at University College London. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Well, congratulations on a very successful conference. What do you think were the highlights? Well, I think one of the highlights was the extraordinary increase in the number of people that we have here. We had 30% more submissions than we've had in the past, and we have over 700 people registered, which is a considerable increase. Particularly interesting was the session on minimum wages, which actually opened the conference, where we had a whole raft of papers that came towards the view that minimum wages don't seem to have as much of an effect as you would have thought on employment. Then we had an interesting session from Esther Duflo on the use of experiments in trying to understand what policy interventions produce by way of responses by people. How do you see economics evolving these days? What are the kind of big trends which uh, you're seeing and perhaps uh, which were visible in this conference? I think one of the things that we're seeing is that um, people are becoming um, somewhat disillusioned with the spurious precision that seems to come from precise economic models of people's behaviours. To understand real responses by real people is an important job to be done now. And in terms of topics, I mean, are there subject areas where you see more interest? Economics has been knocked about a bit by the, by the, by the financial crisis, but people are coming back now and there's a re really renewed interest in getting macroeconomic thinking working and dealing with these sorts of problems. I do microeconometrics, so understanding human behaviour and human decision making and the impact of uh, possibly quite small policy changes on, on people's reactions and responses. What are your plans for the coming years? So one thing I'd like to see happening is running the sorts of courses my research centre at, at UCL organises, short two-day courses given by world-class developers of theory and practice in economics. Uh, giving people uh, an update and a refresher of uh, new techniques and new developments in economics, developments in network economics and game theory and the microeconometric analysis of data to make better policy decisions. What are the kind of key points uh, of the way you would like economics evolve in the future? Economics delivers uh, understanding of behaviours which can't be got just by simple data analysis. We have to interpret data through the lens of theory. And I want to see the Royal Economic Society um, contributing to this, making people aware of what economics can deliver in understanding human behaviours and the impact of policies on those behaviours. How can economists be more relevant perhaps to society or easier to understand for those who don't have professional training? Well, I think economics can be uh, talked about at quite an intuitive level. The development of the subject involves a lot of mathematics, but that's not necessary in order to understand it. Simple economic propositions go a long way and are very useful in informing decisions. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me.